and comfy. Okay, you don't see my panties behind me. I'm doing Evil Pimpsess for my stream promo. <laughs> Go follow me on Twitch. Go sub if you have Twitch Prime. Someone is texting me back, 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 back. My hair, this is a natural queen today. I have been saying that, oh, I'm gonna make sure I'm dressed for my videos because I don't wanna be a insecure bitch or whatever the fuck I said. And then I seen a TikTok today that was like, bitch, just post it. Who gives a fuck? So that's my mood for today. But this is my natural hair. I did put um, some leave-in conditioner and a little bit of mousse in it. So this is my natural curl, baby. This ain't uh, braided curls, okay? This is my natural curl. But anywho, we are here today to give the girlies, the wig ambassador girlies, <laughs> some advice. I've been seeing a lot of this on TikTok and it's been blowing my mind, but it is okay. It's only been blowing my mind because people are uneducated on how they should move when they want to be a wig ambassador. Yeah, we're just going to talk about that today. Y'all have seen that I have done, I've done a lot of wig companies or not even a lot of wig companies, but a lot of wigs in the last like, what, six, seven months. It's been a very long time now. And I just want to give some advice on what I have learned throughout these years. This is not the first time that I've done a collab with a wig company. However, I'm going to just give y'all some tea. You know, I just, I feel like giving y'all some tea. The first tea I want to give, but Buckle up, buttercup. We're just gonna give y'all some tips on what to do and what not to do when you are trying to be a wig ambassador. I'm not gonna say, okay, yeah, I, like I said, most companies will not work with you if you have like under 5K and that's like being nice. Usually under 10K, they're not gonna work with you. Uh, but the good thing is on TikTok, very easy to get 10K. You just gotta be consistent, baby. If y'all want a video on that, I can't even tell y'all because I had an advantage. I am not gonna sit here and bullshit y'all. I had a very big advantage when I was on TikTok. Yeah, but TikTok is very easy to get 10K if you wanna do that. Like you just really have to be consistent, put out quality, but not quality. Do the trending sound. This ain't a TikTok video, but you know, just do that, right? First thing we're gonna talk about is pricing. A lot of people are lowballing themselves thinking that these companies will not go for that price that you originally think you are worth. Now, let's be real. We're gonna go off of like 10K, 50K, 100K, and this is all just like, this is my personal estimate, and I don't wanna speak solely off TikTok, I just wanna say followers in general because I do my videos on YouTube, um, I've only had one company, or maybe two or three, not many companies tell me to do a video as well on TikTok, and I obviously would charge way more for that because my TikTok gets more than my YouTube does. So if you were to have 10K, I think that you should just go with what you think is best. There are probably plenty of videos out there telling people how you should price when you're doing stuff. I don't wanna be responsible if you're getting lowballed, so I'm not gonna say a price, but me, at what I am at right now, like if I were to do a sole TikTok video off of, let's go to our, and this is another thing that you could do. You could just really, I mean, because I've been on social media for so long, I feel like I could just look at it and be like, okay, I would charge this. I don't do TikTok hair videos, so like I wouldn't, I, I wish I had a price that I could tell y'all. So for the last 30 days, so video views, 829K, baby. Or let's, say, let's just even do seven days, 255K. I would probably charge like, 1500 but honestly probably push it to like 2000 but if they wasn't going for 2000 i'd do 1500 and it all just depends on how, what your following is and i think that you should always negotiate if they're telling you that they i'm you know what i these wig companies are probably going to see this video and be like you bitch and never work with me again but it's okay because i'm tired of seeing these tiktok videos of these girlies getting scammed i i can't i can't do it like it just it makes me upset that people are not like knowledgeable on this stuff, but companies will lie to you. They will tell you, oh, we don't have that in the budget or oh, we can't pay for that right now because we are working with so many people or oh, they, they'll just lie. They'll literally lie. I had a company not saying their name because I, I just, I can't do it. Sorry, nope, not doing it. I had this company before, they told me, I said my prices was this. They said, okay, but we can only do this, right? It was like $300 under. At that point, I was ha I already had like five wigs coming to me like dead ass. So I was like, I don't even care. I don't gotta work with them. So I didn't respond. They hit me up like a couple days later and moved it up 200 less. I'm like, I'm not doing it. Like, no, like I was just like, I'm not even gonna respond, right? I didn't respond. Finally, like three days after that, they said, okay, we could do it for this price. So that just proves right there that they be lying. Someone hits you up with the price and you don't wanna do it, then you could simply move on to the next. Do not lowball people because you feel like they're not worth what their pricing is. Now, if they're saying something very off the wall, it makes sense. But what I charge is very good. 
honestly like i'm very generous to these companies simply because i like doing the wigs like it's not a obviously i need money like come on now but it's not like i'm trying to be a beauty influencer out here so i don't really like i feel like i'm very generous to these companies regardless of what views i have i still have a platform and a name so that's one thing recap of pricing negotiate all you can do not overdo it or low by yourself all right next thing is i'm gonna talk about the getting paid first Thing, and then it's gonna like roll over into contracts because we're just gonna get into it so most of the videos on TikTok I've seen have been women not getting their money from these companies I don't know why these companies do this to people I think it's just wrong and disgusting on how they won't pay somebody because of something so uh, un unethical like it just doesn't make sense like I seen this girl post a TikTok about she tied her hair up and they would not pay her because her hair was tied up. Like the wig, I'm pretty sure. I didn't watch like any parts or anything, but I'm assuming they were talking about the wig being tied up and she and they were like, we didn't say that it could be tied up. Now, let me say this first, this is gonna be all over the place, so just bear with me. Companies, 95% of them will tell you from the beginning exactly what they want from you. Probably because they worked with people before that have done these things that they didn't like, so they're like, okay, we're gonna add this to it. Like, I've had that happen before. Most companies will tell you exactly what they want. If they don't want something, they will tell you. Sometimes they won't, and that's just the truth, okay? I make sure to always ask them if I wanna do any type of alteration to the wig, I always ask them first, because I know that once you do it, you can't go back and you don't wanna have complications with these companies, okay? Because I just make sure I ask them first. I've had a couple companies. I've had a company, I had this short bob wig. I asked them if I could dye the ends exactly how my hair is right now. If they would've said no, I would've waited until after the video to do it, but still, they said yes, so I did it. And then I had another company that I wanted to try bangs. And I was like, can I just try some bangs? And they were like, yeah. Half the time they'll say yeah. If they don't want you to, they'll say no. But I recommend to always ask them. I don't know what this girl did either on this TikTok. I'm just saying in general. If you wanna do any alterations to the wig, make sure you ask them first if they did not already state it beforehand. Like if you wanna cut the wig, like say you wanna cut it into a certain shape for your face or something. Make sure you ask them first. That is not something that is like, oh, they won't notice. Everything that you wanna do to a wig, make sure you say beforehand. Most companies will say you can't bleach it, but I thought that meant you can't bleach the knots, and I was like, that's weird, but it doesn't mean that. Random fact. You could bleach your knots, okay? Um, yeah, so, um, <laughs> I forgot what I was talking about. This girl was basically saying that they wouldn't pay her after she already posted the TikTok. The only thing I commented. I always comment on these videos because I want these people to know. Like, there's this girl that I follow on TikTok, and we, like, have that little, like, TikTok friendship where we just talk on TikTok, and she basically said the same thing. The company wouldn't pay her after she posted the video. If a company tells you they cannot pay you until after the video, nine times out of 10, they're scamming you. Because I have been doing this for so long. Like I'm not, like I've been doing brand deals, period, for so long. Even when I was working with like management management actually did help me out a lot because because you know they had to take a percentage so they would take it and then basically pay me with it you know what i'm saying companies are not gonna like not pay you after they get the unlisted video or whatever and it might be different with tiktok i just did a tiktok um deal with this company they just told me to post the video like they were like we don't have to review it just post it and one i don't like that because if y'all don't like the video after i post it i'm not deleting it to re-upload it so i was like oh i'll send it to y'all i ended up not sending it to them because i was late because it was like thanksgiving weekend or something or christmas it was some holiday and i was like i can't so i just posted it but it was still fine but still they're gonna try to scam you i feel like they look at people with a smaller following as like bait and they think that they can run over them and you just have to stand your ground and like you have to make yourself and them feel that you have like a million subscribers or followers or whatever because they will literally try to play you if you're if you don't act like that back onto the money thing make sure they pay you before you post i don't care i don't care i don't care you can save tiktoks as a draft honey you could screen record it send it to them um youtube videos send them the unlisted link instagram you have to make, you can't even like make, a, you have to make it before you actually post it. So like always, 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 after they approve the unlisted video, get your money. If they say they cannot give you the money, 
until you post the video, don't do it. I'll put it somewhere like in the description. If you guys wanna copy and paste it, I send this to, it's literally a template and I use it for every single company. And I made it myself, it's not nothing crazy, but it helps me out because I explain what I do, I explain what I need from you, and I explain what I want as an influencer promoting your brand. So um, yeah, if y'all want that, I'll put it down below somewhere in a link or maybe just down below, it doesn't really matter. But I feel like a template is really good. I've also like added stuff throughout doing videos because I've had issues with people not necessarily not paying me but just like being weird about certain stuff like they would tell me oh I want to dedicate a video or they'd be like oh you can do a mention but you have to do this and put us in the title and put us in the thumbnail and, da -da -da -da. and I'm like no that's not how a mention works but okay get your money before there's no excuses make sure you ask them before they send it and if they send it through PayPal make sure they pay the fee depending on how much you are getting paid because I've gotten gypped before out of like $50, which that $50, like that, it's not my fault that PayPal takes out money. So like I'm getting gypped out of that money, but technically I don't because 90% of the time I ask them, like, can y'all send it? And they do. I've had a couple companies like tell me that they weren't gonna send it or it wasn't in the contract, which it was like, okay, I'm just not gonna work with you again. Like, I don't care. Make sure you do that. And this is gonna flow right into contracts. Contracts, personally, I don't do contracts with these companies unless they send me a contract just because it's always like a quick transaction. I'm just being honest. I'm not saying I don't do contracts. There's some companies that will be very vague and it's like, okay, I just wanna confirm and email this, that, and the third. But other than that, I don't do contracts. I'm not saying don't do contracts. Don't don't listen to me. Like don't don't listen to when I'm saying I don't do contracts. Don't be like, oh, Chrissy doesn't do them, so I don't do them. No, I ask a lot of questions, and everything is documented in email. So regardless, contract or not, I'm still giving and receiving all the information that I need and want. Contracts are important though, especially if you are a smaller influencer, I guess. And the only reason I say that is because, like I said, they like to take advantage. It feels like what I'm trying to say is unexperienced. That's what I'm trying to say. I feel like they try to take advantage of them so they just like are very vague and like oh just post this video and then as soon as you send the video back oh you weren't supposed to do this you weren't supposed to do that if you feel like a contract is needed and they don't want to sign it don't work with the company and that's for people that want to do contracts if you want to do a contract or just some type of invoice that has a little bit of information on it and they don't want to comply with that then you just don't need to work with them you can move on to the next that's all I have to say about contracts because I don't do contracts a couple things that I would say to confirm before you even get a, before you even send your address. I'm about to go to my little template, hold on. These are key things you want to ask for or just say and confirm before you actually, like I said, give them your address. If they ship to the US, I just had a company, low-key tried to scam me, I guess. I don't know what they were trying to do. They told me all this stuff and I was like, okay. And they were like, what's your address? I told them my address and as soon as I sent them my address, and it's not even my address, it was my friend's address. They were like, um, well, they said, I'm sorry, well, we don't ship over there yet. And I'm like, where'd you think I live? But okay, I just said, hmm. That's all I said, I was like, hmm. But anywho, all the things, write these down, put them in your notes. Keep them in your brain. I don't know, do something with them. But before I even give them my address, in my little template, it'll say, your company will cover the PayPal fee to ensure I'm receiving the full amount after checking the unlisted video and approving. And then I'd also add, I will get paid before the video goes live, period, point blank. I've had companies, one actually, or maybe two, that would pay me like 60% before and 40% right after it was posted and then I would say okay well after 24 hours if you do not give me my money I'm deleting the videos that's it don't try to go back and forth with them don't try to be nice like if they say that they want to give you 50 up front 50 this 50 50 50 whatever anything that has to do with like after the video is already posted you make sure to let them know if I do not receive my money in 24 hours I don't give a fuck if it's a weekend a holiday I'm going to delete the video until it is in my account and then I will post the video back up. Thank you. Another thing I would say is depending on if you are doing a dedicated video or a mentioned video, dedicated videos mean that the whole video is dedicated to this wig. You can obviously, I obviously talk about other things in my videos. I don't just talk about the wig the whole time, but you cannot make that like the title, thumbnail or anything. It has to be strictly like title, blah, blah, hair, thumbnail has to just do with the hair and all that stuff and then mention videos are like this is just like a little side note um mention videos are just like oh i'm talking about like or i'm doing a get ready with me 
featuring this hair company or oh I'm doing a cooking video featuring this company and most times like if you're doing a mention video they won't even have you like do the wig on camera they'll just like have you wear it and explain it or whatever but anywho another thing like I just said make sure they ship to the US like I said I had that company do that to me and ever since then I've been telling people I live in the US let me know if you can ship here or I'll say like the city that my friend lives in and be like do you ship here I would say to ask for do's and don'ts what do you want me to do what don't you want me to do what will you allow what won't you allow make sure you get all that information before you even my ear turned on hold on make sure you get all that information before you send your address because once they ship it you gotta do whatever they say ensuring that you're getting the money before you actually post a video if they say no don't work with them do not be desperate there are so i just told y'all at the beginning of this video i've probably worked with 20 plus companies now i've had a lot of wigs i still have a lot of wigs they're sitting right in front of me there's so many there are, are companies out there that are wanting to work with you you do not have to settle for any company if you want to start being a wig ambassador the first thing i would say is get a free wig first from some company random doesn't matter whatever company hit them up hey i'm interested in working with you i want to start doing wig videos and i would like if you guys sent me a wig for a promo after that first wig some company on some social media site will see it and then they will start rolling in and i'm not joking you need to do that like just do one free one that's it after that start charging and tell them even if you want to hit them up and be like hey i'm interested in working with you here are my prices what can we do with this you know what i'm saying like don't just do a bunch of free wig video just get free wigs like it might be cool at first but then after a while you're like i'm doing all this work for a free wig no your worth is not a free wig like you are worth more than that that is the whole point that they're making you do this imagine that video goes viral and you got paid nothing but a $300 wig yeah that's all the advice I have for you guys today this is just all my knowledge I'm not speaking on anything professionally because I am NOT a professional I'm so I'm not even a professional at wigs for real I've gotten a lot better but I'm not a professional and I'm just speaking off of experience I don't know I'm not a manager I am an influencer that has been doing brand deals in general for a long time so I just want to come in here and tell you guys some tea so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys got some information out of it the template that I use personally will be down below if you want to use it obviously like empty out all the stuff that i'll like put little yeah you'll see it if you want it and you can use it to send to companies thank you guys so much for watching this video give this video a thumbs up make sure you follow all my social media at the end of the video and i'll see you guys next time